the ultimate solution is to move somewhere where there's a Latin mass, but I know that that's not possible for everybody, or at least it might not be possible for some years to come. Although I guess I would say keep that on your radar screen. It It is, you, I can't even begin to describe the blessing of being near a parish that's run by the Fraternity of St. Peter or the Institute yeah. of Christ the King Amen. or some other place like that where you can every day you can go to the traditional Latin Mass, if, if, you know, maybe not every day, depending on your schedule, but multiple times a week. But if you don't have that, there are several things that people should do. The first thing they should do is really try to interest a local priest in the traditional Latin Mass. Mm. There, I know that, that, you know, some people have terrible success with that, but other people have great success with that. They go and they talk to usually the newly ordained priest, the priest who's been a priest for three or four years, you know, often that generation has no baggage, no hostility. Um, you know, you know, have you have you ever thought about learning that the the extraordinary form is good to use? That I guess that that technical term. For, have you ever thought about learning the extraordinary form? You know, there's a whole group of us who would love to attend. You know, and it's important then to actually get a group of people. What the Vatican calls a chetus fidelium, a group of the faithful together. It doesn't have to be any particular number. The, the Vatican is very clear about that. There's no minimum number. If if one person asks for it, they should still be taken seriously. But, um, but if you have 15 or 30 or 50 people in your diocese, and it doesn't have to be from your, your parish, it can be from anywhere in the, in the wow. vicinity. Um, if you have those numbers, then it's much more impressive when you go to a priest and say, you know, there are 50 of us who would attend this mass if you offered it. And start modestly once a month, first Friday, first Saturday. You know, a lot of parishes don't even have Saturday morning masses. So that's been a great time. I've noticed over the years that clever priests will slot in their Latin mass on Saturday morning because there's no competition with anything else, right? Um, or they could say, you know, um, uh, there's lots of ways to be clever, but a priest could say, well, you know, when first Friday and first Saturday devotions were introduced into the church, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to celebrate first Friday and first Saturdays with the liturgy as it was celebrated at the time that yeah, first nice. Fridays and first Saturdays were, were instituted, you know, and then people are like, oh, that's kind of neat, you know, retro, like an old car. <laughs> So you, you have to be clever about this. Really. Retro. Um, Call it the retro mess. I think you get a lot of people. 